several states to finalize its congressional maps just this week. And as the New York Times noted uh, yesterday, Michigan's new maps have been effectively ungerrymandered, a big win for advocates of fair districts in that state. And heading into this year, there was talk that Democrats were poised to lose the House in 2022 simply, simply based on Republican gerrymandering alone before any votes were even counted. But now with over half the state maps drawn and despite a definite Republican tilt, things actually are looking a lot better for Democrats than expected across the country. A new analysis from Joel Wertheimer at the liberal think tank Data for Progress made, uh, sorry, excuse me, makes that unexpected prediction. Uh, and it, in part, it reads this. When redistricting is finished, more districts in 2022 will be to the left of Joe Biden's 4.5 uh, national margin against Trump than there were in 2020. So I guess the big question tonight is how did this happen and what does it mean for the coming election year? Joining us now is Kelly Burton, president of the National Democratic Redistricting Committee. It's great to have you uh, with us, Kelly. Uh, earlier this year, everyone was predicting Democrats would do terribly in the redistricting as we were anticipating there. But it seems, at least for now, things might have changed. First off, do you agree with this recent analysis that I was talking about, that things have gone better than expected for Democrats? Uh, and if so, why do you think that is happening? Well, thanks for having me and for talking about this important issue. Look, I will say right off the top that there's no question the Republicans are trying to gerrymander their way to a House majority through redistricting this cycle. They are very open about that strategy. And I think what you're seeing now is the comprehensive strategy that we and others have been running for years to fight back against that plan, to fight back against the Republican gerrymandering and their intent to manipulate manipulate the map so that they can hold on to power regardless of what the voters say. And that comprehensive plan is really coming to fruition. We have been engaging the public and raising awareness about the problematic impact of gerrymandering on our democracy. We have been encouraging people to get involved in this process. We have been shifting the balance of power away from Republican total control that we saw last decade, as you noted in Ohio, where the voters passed a commission overwhelmingly, similarly in Michigan. And then we've been filing litigation to hold them accountable when they decide to break the law and gerrymander as we're doing in Ohio. So I think we are executing a plan that we have had in place, knowing what we were up against with Republican gerrymandering. And that plan is, um, is you know, paying off. It, it, has it also been effective that in some states, uh, and, and you can look at a number of factors here that have been, for, been put forward for Democrats doing better, but you know, there are some that are saying at least one reason is that in some democratically controlled states, like if you look at uh, Illinois, Oregon, they've decided to draw partisan maps of their own. And I know your organization believes that Democrats can actually win with fair maps. But does it make sense for Democrats not to gerrymander in states they fully control when Republicans continue to do it in their red states? Like, is that the approach here? Should Democrats be playing the Republicans game in the states that they control? No, and they're not, and we don't need to. Re Democrats don't have to cheat to win. We are not afraid of the voters. We are not afraid of fair elections where we allow the voters to make the choice fairly. And what you're seeing in the Republican states is the, uh, the intent and the attempt to disregard what the voters want and lock in power regardless of the, of the election outcome and of the voters in that state. And what you're seeing in the Democratic states is the Democrats trying to lean into the data, the census data, the reality of those states and draw maps that reflect the state of the voters. Remember that the reason we redistrict is so that the districts can better reflect the shifts and demographic changes and geographic changes of the previous decade. So the census data is a roadmap for redistricting. And in the Democratic states, you know, you're seeing maps that flow with that census data that follow what the data says should happen in the states. And the Republicans are summarily dismissing the truth in the census data and drawing maps for power. It's a different thing. And we don't need to cheat to win. We don't think we, we should. And we think we can win when the elections and the maps are fair. Uh, 